If you saw my uh, greasing my trencher video just a little while back, um, you saw that I used like a needle to grease those fittings. It was the only thing I could find at the time, and it was kind of messy. I had to use a rubber seal on it and whatnot. So finally, I got around to um, you know finding and ordering a couple of different type adapters. Um, I found these at. Mills Fleet Farm, and um, they shipped them out. Like I got them in like a day. They're really great, and um, they're basically some pin type adapters that I, you know, decide to give each one a try. Now the first one that I decided to try was one that just clips onto the end of the your grease gun, and there's a uh, fitting in there. But it turned out that I put it on my grease gun, and nothing would come out the end of the needle. It would all just leak out around the fitting there, so it just didn't fit my grease gun right. So I put that one aside. Now next there was one that had a little rubber tip on it that I thought would probably work pretty good, and um, so that one was a thread on on the grease gun, and I put that on the grease gun and. Put it up against the fitting, tried pumping it, and nothing went in the fitting. All the grease just came out around the rubber. So it looks like that one's not going to work either. Maybe good for some other applications. So the next one I tried was something they called a needle nose dispenser that just had a um, like a tapered tip on it. And I tried that, and actually it worked pretty good. Um, the grease fittings weren't quite perfectly round, so I did get some leakage coming out of the um, those little sockets in the fittings there but um i did get quite a bit into the the actual pins themselves so you know it seemed to work pretty good and then when i went down to the looser pins on the bucket and um then that's where it really worked good there was a lot of slop in them and um i basically the fittings in them were much rounder and they locked in good so there was very little leakage so i think this is the type of um fitting that you probably should use for greasing one of these trenchers now, this one was a little bit tough to hold on to and hold in the um, the hole there. So I decided to start take that first uh, unit that I had bought that had the grease fitting to lock on your gun in. And I just took the tip off of it and used decided to use the tip and screw that onto the end of the um, grease gun. And I think you can buy it alone without the rest of it, too, if you look. But um, it's about a four inch long pin there and the end of it was quite rough. So I just took it and I um, tried to polish it up a little bit with a little bit of emery to get some of the, um, the grooves and whatnot out of it. And then I gave that one a try. And I think that um, this is the one that I'm going to be sticking with. Uh, it's a little bit longer. It's easier to grip onto and to put a little bit of extra pressure on it to keep it from leaking out so bad. Um, and it seems to get more grease in the fittings. Uh, it still has a little problem with the um, the fittings that aren't quite round on the end. But overall, it really is easy to hold on to and, you know, easy to use on the pins. And, it's you know, it's really easy to use on these loose pins up front. It, all the grease goes in and um, you can get good pressure on it. So I think I'm real happy with this needle and I'm going to be using this one from now on. Basically, this is just a longer version of the um, the shorter one that I had purchased and tried. And I just like like the way this one works a lot better. Um, it's a lot easier to hold on to and um, a lot easier to get it, you know, pressure on the thing. So then I went back to the, um, the couple of out around fittings that I had there. And I just took a, uh, took a countersink and just ran it around a little bit to get a little chamfer in there that was kind of, even and uh, did away with all the uh, you know the little rough spots in the hole and you know I wanted to see if that would help a little bit so it was a little bit of brass there and I just made sure that I wiped it all off and um, now then I went back and tried it again and as you can see it worked about 95 percent better um, there was very little leakage out this time and um, most of the uh, grease went into the fitting so I guess I'll probably, you know, just quickly go over all the other fittings on it and um, try to clean them up. And I guess I'm going to wind up sticking with this uh, little bit longer one here, which I think you can buy separately. Um, you know, I just bought it with the other fitting on it because I thought it would be nice to be able to clip it on the gun and remove it. But it looks like um, I'm really just going to have to get another gun and leave this one nozzle on the one that I'm using now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.